We've all been sent a video from a friend that we know is a fake, like this one. Some videos are so convincing that even the sharpest eye can't catch them. Tonight, King 5 Sebastian Robertson introduces us to the world of deep fakes and a team of researchers that is working to rein them in. This is Sebastian, and you need to know this face too. That's King 5's Chris Cashman. And the technology we're about to show you that's available to anyone has many concerned. We're entering an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time. President Even Obama never, never said those face. words. I'm going to be talking to you about a new technology that's affecting famous people. And don't let the accent fool you because this isn't Adele. Specifically deep fake videos, videos that can make anyone look like they're saying anything. Take this video, for instance. I may look like Chris Cashman from Take 5, but it's actually me, Sebastian, the reporter doing this story. This is something that a lot of smart people are losing sleep about. And once you learn more about it, well, you may have trouble sleeping too. It literally keeps me up at night and it, it really motivates me to get help with my colleagues to get this center up and going. The center professor Jevin West is talking about is the Center for an Informed Public, a brand new University of Washington lab. Their goal starting this fall is understanding and stopping the spread of misinformation. What is problematic information? Deep fake videos like these are a major part of this, especially as the technology behind them just keeps getting better. You do not need to be a software developer to use this kind of technology. Do you think I could make something convincing? Yes, I do. I'm not a software developer. Problem is it probably would take you a day or a couple days to do it really well. Challenge accepted. These might be um, famous last words, but how hard can it be? Download. All right, in principle, it's simple. Start with two real videos featuring two real people. Take those clips, feed them into a series of computer algorithms, then break each source down okay. frame by frame. So we've been at this for the better part of a day. Now here's the scary part. Watch as the facial features of video one are matched and then seamlessly merged onto video two. Specifically deep fake videos, videos that can make anyone look like they're saying anything. Now imagine this technology used as a way to sway voters. It's something that big companies are paying big money to stop. The Knight Foundation, a freedom of speech nonprofit, donated $5 million to the University of Washington for this very purpose. Tech giant Microsoft is working on this as well. They've teamed up with Facebook and a number of universities to launch a public competition, offering cash to anyone who could develop software that will detect deep fakes. Which one's real and which one's not? For West, that's a bad sign. That means that even the tech giants are worried that the technology is slipping away. When we can't trust our eyes anymore, and we've, we're looking at images that were created by algorithms, and we've truly crossed that on Canny Valley, I think it's something to be concerned about. Specifically, deep fake videos. Our deep videos fake may not be perfect. Like but perfection is it necessary take to make video, something instance, convincing. I may look like Chris Cashman from Take 5, especially exactly when the viewer or the voter is ready to see what they want to see. A lot of smart people are losing sleep about. In Seattle, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.